behind razor wire and electric fences, holding more than 1,300 men in the Cimarron Correctional Facility, you find not anger and fear, but puppy love. You know, they just turn the mush around the dogs. They love the dogs you know, or go to visitation. Or Christopher or Marshall is serving a long prison sentence. I uh, was assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. Good girl. He was accepted into the Freedom Dogs program, along with other inmates, to train shelter animals, which will in turn be put up for adoption, meaning this friendship will last only a matter of weeks. It's kind of bittersweet. Colleen Crummy founded Freedom Dogs and reached out to corrections facilities to have inmates take the dogs to the next level. And they do a great job training them. Give me down. The inmates also come away with new skills. Laura Green works in the prison and sees the changes. It definitely teaches them patience, and that's something that they can utilize uh, to not come back into the prison system. Men paying debts to society, helping animals who were about to be put to death only because they were unwanted. Most of these dogs came from high kill shelters. They didn't have very long left. Before Freedom Dogs pulled them out of shelters and brought them here. Once they leave the prison for the last time, they'll be going out to new lives with loving families. They'll also be leaving something important here. I think the greatest thing that these dogs teach us is unconditional love. They don't care what we are, where we're from, who we are, just that they love us and we love them, and that, that, that's the whole, the whole meaning of it. This group graduates in just a couple of weeks. Then a new platoon of pups comes to prison. Second chances, changing hearts making a difference. Michelle Lowry, 2 News works for you.